Google Gemini just turned this picture of me with a single text prompt into this YouTube thumbnail. And it looks exactly like me, something no other AI tool has been ever able to do. They change your face so much where you can't use it for practical applications like this. This just came out today. This is the brand new upgrade inside of Gemini where you could now edit photos with a text prompt is one of the most mind blowing things I've seen in the world of AI, especially in the world of image generation. I'm gonna show you 10 different use cases in this video and you could use it right now. Okay, the very first use case is you could just simply remove a background, something that Photoshop charges for, something you have to pay for inside of Canva. You could do it for free with a simple text prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the add file and upload a file. It's gonna be just an image file of me I just used in the beginning. So I'm just gonna say remove the background and replace it with a subtle blue techie background. And you could describe as much detail as you want. It's actually really, really good at following prompts. I've actually had early access for a few days now, so I had some time to test it out before it got released today. Okay, look at that right here. I mean, how good is that? I've been using Photoshop for maybe close to 20 years, and to get someone to get cut out of the background this cleanly, I mean, there is literally not a single issue even around the fingers it's extremely clean so here is the before and here is the after with one simple text prompt the second thing i wanted to show you is you could simply upload an image of a person and change what they are wearing so i'll just show you here as an example i'm going to say change my shirt to a green t-shirt okay and here is the before and here is the after. I mean, this is just so clean. I can't get these kind of results without spending at least a little bit of time in Photoshop. And changing my shirt in Photoshop is actually far more involved than what I just did here in less than 10 seconds. All right, let me go to pixels.com so I could work with some other models here. These are just royalty-free images anyone could download from pixels.com, so you don't have to look at the same picture of me every time. Now, for this next example, I'm gonna show you how to combine two photos. So I'm gonna upload two photos I just downloaded. Okay, so it was just a model and this puppy, and all I said was, have the person hold the puppy. Okay, and this is the result here. I'll put the two pictures on the right side so you could see what it combined. And this is what we got out of it. Now, I'm gonna also put this person in a different environment. So I'm gonna just do a follow-up prompt here. Now put this person and the puppy in the same pose outside in a park. And here's the result of that. So here's the before and here is the after. And I actually said make the puppy twice the size. And again, it kept almost everything exactly the same except the puppy is now twice the size. For this next one, I wanna show you multi-turn editing. So I uploaded a picture of an empty room and I'm gonna use Gemini here to actually decorate that room. So here's the room. I'm gonna see if I could add a couch here on the right side. Okay, it followed that pretty well. Let's see if we could add a dining room set in the back room. Okay, that turned out really nice. And by the way, so far, these are just my very first prompts. I have not shown you a second prompt. This is literally the first thing I got out of every example that I gave Gemini so far. And on this one, I just said repaint the room white and all the details are exactly the same as before. It just changed the wall colors here to white. And I said remove the hardwood floor and replace with carpet. And this is what we got out of that prompt. Now, one of the most useful things to do to a photo, and a lot of people use Photoshop for this, is removing an unwanted object. So let's say with this photo, we don't want these cars here. And I'm gonna ask Gemini if it could remove the cars. And those two cars are gone. And here's the before. And here is the after. Now I'm gonna go back to this image and right on top, I'm gonna to download the full resolution. I'm gonna see now if I could add this picture with this person and the large puppy back into the image I just edited. And again, it did exactly what I wanted, cut them out of the park and put them in this new scene that we just removed the cars from. Now I wanna show you how to change the color of anything. So make this blue. And this one is a little bit challenging because this car is reflecting all kinds of things from the trees, so we'll see what we get out of this one. Yeah, it kept all the reflection, so I think this is a really nice job too. And I asked it to make it matte black to see if it would remove the reflections, and it did. The reflections remain here in the glass, but they are not reflecting on this matte black color car. 
Next thing I wanted to show you is how to change the artistic style. So you could turn something into a painting, for example, or into a cartoon. So I just said, turn this into acrylic painting. Here is the before image and here is the after. Okay, let's see if you could actually turn this into a Pixar style cartoon. Okay, that's the first time it did not do anything here. It looks exactly the same as the picture that I gave it. Let me try it with a person, see if it follows it. Maybe this is a copyright type of an issue. Okay, it changed it a little bit, but definitely not a Pixar style cartoon. It still looks like a photo here. So let me try to just turn this into an animated cartoon. Okay, so it looks like that's a copyright thing with the Pixar style because it was able to turn it into a cartoon, but it wasn't able to turn it into that Pixar style of cartoon. And I was able to turn them into claymation. It didn't change the background though. It kept that cartoony, but it changed the foreground into claymation style. Okay, now I wanna see how it does at ideation. So I said, create a YouTube thumbnail about the release of Gemini's new AI image editor. I didn't tell it what text to use, but now we're gonna test this ideation and we're gonna see how it actually deals with text. I show you that a little bit in the beginning. It does really, really well with text. Okay, this is the result that we got. It looks a little generic, so I might wanna add myself here. So let's see if we could do that. I uploaded a picture of myself and I said, remove the hand and the photo here and replace it with me instead after you cut me out of the background. So multiple different things all at once. Okay, and it did exactly that. So a couple of issues here that I wanna also show you how to fix. One is you see the contrast is very low compared to the image. So that's another thing you could do is you could actually change the color and the contrast basically simple image editing. So first, I'm gonna say, move the text up. And this time it didn't listen to me two different times. Let me try again. I'll say, move the text up to the top. Okay, and it looks like it's not listening to me. So let me see if you could just remove my hand and keep everything else the same. Okay, so it did remove my hand. So now this does work, but I really wanted the text to get moved up. So that is one of the limitations I've seen so far. It doesn't really know the placement when you have multiple objects and how to move text if something else is blocking the text. But again, I've only tested that a few times. Now the contrast, let's deal with that next. Okay, now I just said add more contrast to the person without changing the background. So that should just add more black and shadows to the picture of me. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. Now I kind of match the contrast of the background. Okay, now I just found this billboard online. I wanna see if you could change this picture right here to be a burger instead of this chicken sandwich. Okay, look at that. It kept everything the same, right? I have to change this text now, so we'll try that next. And he added a burger here. So let me see if you could remove all white meat chicken here. And I said replace with the best burger in town. So again, he followed that exactly right. And I'm gonna say put this billboard in Times Square. And look at that, we got the billboard right here. It changes the perspective too, but he still kept all the writing the same. Our replacement is the same. And then again, I could follow it up with any type of text prompt to put it anywhere else there. Okay, let me see if I could do something pretty challenging here. So I said, restore this photo. There's pretty much no details here left on the face. And you could restore any type of old photo. So if you have old black and white, you could restore them. You could colorize them. You could really improve them. Let's see if you could fix this one though. That is really good. I mean, there was no detail on the face there, but it recreated a face. Now I'm gonna follow up with colorize and modernize this and see what we get there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It added a computer here. It changed their outfit to be more modern, added a lot more color and contrast here that we did not have in the original photo. Turned out really good. Now let's see if you could create that viral chat GPT trend. You know, the one where you turn yourself into an action figure. So I'm gonna give it that prompt here. I'm gonna say the text that I want. So I'm gonna put my name and a subheading with some accessories and see what we get here. Okay, it's not bad. It's not as cool as the one that chat GPT made, but let me see if I could get this to recreate this head to toe. Okay, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I, I guess I'm wearing leather pants, but you know, that was a, uh, had no context of the pants I was wearing. And I think overall, this is this is pretty good. Totally different than what ChatGPT used to make, but it did follow the prompt pretty well. 
So I think it's pretty obvious this is a huge leap for AI image editing and it follows the prompt really, really well. I think there was only maybe a handful of times in a couple of days where it did not follow my prompt so far with all my testing. But let me know what you think of it in the description. I also recently made a video where I show you everything Gemini has to offer. So this would be an addition to all the other features inside a Gemini app. I'll include that video right here.